Uh, first, real quick, I didn't know this until today. A friend of mine pointed this out. Jadelle, you were the one-armed zombie who kills Sigourney <laughs> Weaver in, in uh, Cabin in the Woods? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to do that before. Yeah. I just want to say I love the show. Uh, the thing that drew me in, you talked about it a little bit already, is, is uh, the characters, the people you care about. You, you want to see what happens to them. And that's what draws me in. Uh, I want to ask, is there any aspect of your characters that wasn't originally as written, but that you brought to it? Jay? I mean, Jay would probably be very well placed to answer that question. I think that's true. I mean, I knew Anthony before, and he's such a sarcastic guy that I think we wrote that up, right? Uh, more than was originally anticipated. Uh, Melissa, I met her at lunch. <laughs> and... Yeah, we met at lunch because, to be honest, we were looking at somebody else at the time, and everybody said, no, Jake, no, Jake, you gotta meet Melissa, you gotta meet Melissa. So I went to lunch with her, and I thought, ah, she's cool. <laughs> I thought she was so cool. <laughs> so I got from the lunch, I said, okay, guys, she gets it. I said, but I think the original character wasn't going to be as complex as the, what she's brought to the part. So I can tell you she's given it a bigger range than we initially anticipated. Uh, Alex, dry as all hell, tough. You know, I think the sword play, all that stuff, I don't think we would have done as much if he didn't. Whatever you do to be able to do that stuff, it worked out. He got very dedicated to it. You know, he's got abs now that he probably didn't have before as well. So. No, I was traumatized by season two when they were like, yeah, so we're actually going to do, uh, what was that movie that, Shawshank Redemption, you wanted it, you wanted it like that for yeah, the DLC. And I was just like, oh, oh, wait, like one day notice. Okay, I look terrible. <laughs> oh, the opening, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you guys, were yeah supposed to, you guys were supposed to be dressed a lot less. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that possible? Uh, and Joe Del. Del. Joe Del. Del. Oh, my God, what Joe Dell did with that part, I can tell you. There's no way we would have anticipated where we were going to go with her character. I mean, it was a quieter, less, you know, crucial character to the show, but Joe Dell brought such dimension to it, we just wrote her up. You know? yeah. Oh, and, and I mean, uh, Zoe, oh my God. You know, I had Zoe in Lost Girl, and uh, originally the android was a guy, right? And one of my producers came to me and said, Zoe wants to be the android. I said, no, she doesn't. And I said, yeah, she wants to play the android. I said, you're kidding me. I don't believe this. And I talked to her, and she said, this is a challenge, Jay. And I didn't really anticipate what a challenge it would be. So the android originally was much drier, much more technical all the time. In fact, we had conversations with a sci-fi channel about how the android, what kind of personality it should have. And I said, no, no, we're just going to let Zoe do what she does. So Zoe brought all of that to the android, right? And Roger, God, he's like, Dad. he's like big brother. So we wrote that up too. He naturally embraced that, and the, and the chemistry between him and Five uh, came out of that as well. Big brother. Well, we're, we are running down on time, but you know.